Welcome back to Politicking. I'm now joined by the iconic actress and activist Jennifer Lewis, star of the hit series Blackish. She's become very public in her political activism. She joins us now from Los Angeles. All right, as you look at the country, Jennifer, what's going to happen November 3rd? <laughs> Look, baby, all I can tell you is Biden is going to win because I trust and believe in humankind. I believe that Americans have seen enough. I think they've had enough. I think we've had a, a doom, a weariness, actually, this cloud that has hung over us since the day he was elected. I remember one of the first, thing he, the first things he did was when, and he was very soon after he was elected, he walked out onto the balcony and looked up at the eclipse without any glasses on or anything. And that first lesson to our children grossed me out. And then it just continued on from there. I remember talking to you when he was first um, elected and you asked me what would I say to him? And I said that I would ask him to step down at that time. Well, it's been some years later and what would I say him, to him now, Larry? Jump down and stay down, lay down and go on to another country, buy yourself an island with that $750 you paid in taxes that you probably didn't pay. Get that money and get you an island and go and rest, my friend. Go, go take a nap. You've been declared, you said you're sung out. <clears throat> you're riding high with Biden in 2020. That's How right. active are you? How active are you? I am extremely active. After George Floyd was murdered in front of our faces, I wrote a song called All Hands on Deck. Get your privilege off my neck. Larry, it was the way he looked at that 14-year-old girl that filmed him murdering George in front of our eyes. See, that? See, they did it in front of us. See? All that hiding is one thing, but Trump emboldened them. You got to understand this man wants a war. And I am praying and trusting that the American people will not give it to him. I'm praying that we have evolved enough that we won't give him a civil war. Dear God. We've come so far, how can we go so bad? How can we not pay attention? Or how can we not acknowledge the ancestors that fought so hard for sanity? Some kind of civilized nation. And now we fall apart because of, the, of a reality TV show host that knows nothing about real life and real people and that they're half the country starving now because of COVID. Well, he's never been hungry. So why should he be uh, 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 expected to understand that? Understand real people. Rich people live in a bubble. I'm rich. I live in a bubble. But I came from poverty. And I came up in the ranks so I understand life. I understand what's needed for people to hold on to their, their mental capacity and their spiritual capacity in order to handle something like COVID-19 that came out of nowhere. Have you voted yet? No, I'm going in person. I like to go in person. I like to stand there and remember Mandela and stamp it. I like the, I like the excitement of live theater and being in the moment of life and enjoying exactly what's going on. Oh, Larry, I ain't perfect. My sh thinks, but let me tell you something, baby. Let me tell you the one thing I love about people like you and people like me. We care. We care. So we don't stop. There's no stopping. We care. And look how blessed you and I are. I mean, come on. I'm giving back. I wrote the song. Uh, uh, Don Lemon called me and, and, and he, he asked me to come on and speak. I'm not a politician. I said, call Maxine Waters. 
I'm just an artist with a big soul. But apparently people are loving my songs and they're loving what I'm doing. And the reason I am okay with what I'm doing is because I know the foundation is that I care about the next generation. What are your thoughts about Kamala Harris? She's gonna, uh, she's gonna pretty much kick and take numbers. That's a, that's a, that's a, uh, that's a who. I don't want to get on her bad side. Let me tell you, she came to slay. Let's face it, Larry. She's smart. She's wow. I don't even know what to say about Kamala. I actually heard her speak when she uh, during the primary, and I thought to myself, "Oh my God, this woman is going to have to, uh, you know, amp it up a little bit if she wants to, you know, run against Trump." But what? Shoot. Two weeks later, I saw her speak. She sounded like Dr. King. I was like, come on, baby, come on. So she's going to be all right. She's going to uh, weather the storm. She's not uh, intimidated easily. Uh, she's a brilliant woman. None of us are perfect, but I am 1,000% behind her. As a matter of fact, uh, Doug called me uh, the other day to thank me for something I had done for the um, Democratic Party, and they're very nice people. Um, and we're going to be fine. Biden's going to win by a landslide because Trump, all he did was prove that he cared about nothing but himself. Just himself. 218,000 Americans have died. When he found out that this uh, virus mostly affected black people and old people and Hispanics, took it off the front page. He wants to pretend that it doesn't ex even exist, let alone it killed Americans. This man is, well, like I told you before, Larry, he's a sociopath. They don't feel feelings. This man doesn't have any feelings. He doesn't even like the people who like him. He doesn't know how to do that. See, and I'm going to be real honest. That's why I'm a little upset with Ice Cube. I will bring it up. Ain't no shame in my game, Larry. I call it like I see it. Ice Cube should have brought the black community together. Get Gather the constituency and then go to the talk to the Republicans or the Democrat. And, and Larry, here's the thing. If he were not so evil in his madness. See, everybody's madness is not evil. I am bipolar. I used to have mania like he, he does before I was treated, but I wasn't evil. If this has done nothing, it will make us a kinder people. But this, this country may have to go through a lot of stuff before we get to that point. God help us. He, we cannot let this man divide us like this. We cannot let this man start a civil war. All these people running around talking about fight, 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 fight. Do you know what war looks like, you idiots? These are your children laying in the street with bullets in them. Are you insane? You can't be running around talking about war, 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 unless you know what it looks like. And that's why Donald Trump wants one, because he doesn't even know what it looks like. This is a man that avoided doing anything that would give him character. That's why he has no character. My, tax, my property tax came the other day. All I could do was look at it. I ain't never had problem paying taxes. But all I could think of was I got to pay this and he paid nothing nothing and people love him for. but what he did larry was he woke up he just woke it up baby My, donald trump stirred up the native americans blood that's been spilled on this country on the soil he just he stirred up the the deep racism that was hiding behind closed doors he stirred up the perpetrators, the people that will come out and tell you one thing when they're feeling another. He unleashed, ooh, it gives me chills. He unleashed the deep fear and pain that people have for the horrors that they have committed. What has happened is that 
Oh, Larry, so much has happened and you can hear how full I am. But what I'll tell you what has to happen. We have to vote him out. That's number one. We have to, and those senators, boy, you the history, kind of history they're gonna go down in. Oh my God. I actually wrote a song that said, Republican senators, what are you made of that you would let this criminal run free? What I wanna know what you're made of that made you like that. Donald Trump cares about one thing, money. He just wants attention and power and money, and he wants to be able to put other people down that are not like him. But what he doesn't understand is that m most of the world is not like you, Donald. I wish you were more opinionated. <laughs> we thank Jennifer Lewis for joining us. But I'm going to tell you this. I never would have done this if I had loved you so much. Larry, I feel like you're like my 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 brother. I felt like I, I could you, just... Baby. I love you too. Take care, baby. Great edition of Politicking. Remember, you can join me on the Facebook page or tweet me at King's Things. And don't forget to use the Politicking hashtag. And that's all for this quiet edition of Politicking.